The purpose of this tutorial is to talk to you about how to use iReady on an iPad. Right now, I'm modeling how more than one app is necessary in order to get into iReady on an iPad. Make sure that you have installed Clever as well as iReady on the iPad, not an iPad mini and not an iPhone. Please make sure that it's an iPad. Start by clicking on Clever. When you get into Clever, you will see a page that looks like this. Not all teachers have distributed badges. Badges are kind of like a QR code. They authenticate the user by using the camera. Not all iPads will function properly using this option, and not all teachers have distributed these. However, on the bottom of the screen, you will notice there's a blue button that says username and password. Go ahead and click on that blue button at the bottom of the screen. When you click on that blue button, you will be redirected to the Clovis Unified Login page. Right here is where you will type your child's username and password. As soon as you click one of those fields, the keyboard will rise from the bottom of the iPad and then you will type that information in. In this sample I'm showing you right here, I'm using Mickey Mouse 001 as an example. All student usernames follow a very similar pattern for the most part. Your child's first name, your child's last name, and then three numbers. If your child has a very long first and last name or has a hyphenated last name, there may be some letters that have been removed from your child's first name in order to construct your child's username. In a situation like that, simply ask your child's teacher what your child's username is in order to gain clarification. Once you have typed in the username and password, you can either click the Go button on the keyboard or you can choose the Sign In button from that main login screen. Once you have signed in, you will head over to Clever, and many of the apps that your child has access to are live and ready to go on this screen. Please do not be discouraged if not every app works. Not all of these will function properly on an iPad, and even if you're on a laptop, not all of them will function properly either. It's just dependent upon site discretion as to which resources will work properly for each group of students. Please navigate down the screen just a little bit, locate the iReady app, and then click one time. When you get into this app, you will see this directional box letting you know that you need to officially open the iReady app. At this point, please use this button that you see on the screen in front of you. Use the open button. The iPad will head over to iReady for you. Please do not log in to iReady directly from the iReady app. Always use Clever. Once you get into the iReady app, it will ask whether or not you want to use the reading portion or the math portion. For right now, Clovis Unified is only using math, so please click math. After you click math, you will see your child's resources available on display in front of you. During the course of your time inside of the iReady app, if you have any questions about functionality or extended learning, just head up to the top right-hand corner over here where it says Family Center. Feel free to head there and iReady can provide you with additional resources, tools, and teaching ideas to support your learning at home experience. Now, let's pretend that there are three children in the family and all three children go to Clovis Unified schools and all three of them have access to iReady. Now, it's a natural question to inquire how each child will use iReady without logging into their siblings' accounts. So, let's navigate to the front of the iPad. Notice on the front of the iPad how you have the home button, this circle button right here. We're gonna use that button in order to help us sign out of both of these resources. To sign out, simply double click the home button, click, click. When you double click the home button, you will notice how any active apps will show up in a miniaturized fashion. Use your index finger on each app individually and slowly slide up on the screen. As you slide up on each app, they will disappear. This is how you clear the history. Swipe up on each one. Once they close, 
they've been removed from the screen, your children will be logged out of each of those resources. Now, you can easily hand that iPad off to the next child, and that child will start from the beginning. They will click on the Clever app, they will sign in, and head all the way over to iReady all over again. That's how each child can use iReady individually. Team, thank you so much for paying attention to today's video, and have a great day.